Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Red Code. In this video, we are going to learn how to run our feature files in parallel and also we are going to learn how to rerun the failed feature files or the test you can say. And also we are going to learn few of the configuration. So executing parallel is very easy. So you can just go to your cucumber.json file and then you can say something like um, parallel and then the number of instance so i will go with two that means like two browsers will run at the same time or also we can say like two scenarios are going to run at the same time okay and of course we know that we have to create this folder test result um, so that our result will save and of course there won't be any error right but we are going to change this by the end of the video okay so i'm going to bring up my terminal and of course i'm going to run like npm test so now you can see like it's going to run the test and we can see like two browsers at the same time that is what parallel of course you know so here you can see like one scenario is running and in the another browser what another scenario is running okay so here it's searching for roomies another test got completed so it's again spinning up two browsers you can see like we have two browsers here okay of course you can give like three or four based on your system configuration just go with two or three that will be very good i guess um, but if you have a good configuration probably you can go more than that as well but yeah that's fine okay and this browser got stuck because there is a failure so one scenario is going to get failure and we are going to rerun that let's see so our test is completed now it's going to generate the report so here you can see like we got this multiple uh, cucumber report so let me open this in my explorer and if i open this index.html here you can see like we got this product test where all our test pass and then i have this user authentication where i have one failure so if i go and see the screenshot you can see like it got failed because of course we are passing the wrong credential intentionally then we have the error message here okay so that's it we are pretty good now we are going to learn how to rerun the failed test okay so it's going to be also very simple but few of the configurations we have to change okay so if you go to your cucumber.json file again and here you can see like uh, say like you can say like a rerun then sorry not here uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, use within the formatter okay within the format so here i'm going to say like comma then followed by uh, rerun colon then followed by the file name and file name should always starts with the at the rate file name can be anything but i'm going to name it like rerun dot txt okay so make sure the format is going to be like txt format and the file name should be anything can be anything but the starting should be like at the rate that is how cucumber understand it okay now if you go to my terminal here you can see like we have like totally 28 steps and we have four scenarios okay so please remember this we have like 28 steps let me copy this in a notepad and we have of course four scenarios with among those like one got failure and three got pass okay so this is the default result here we have now okay now since we have this rerun.txt file that means when i execute my test now it is going to generate the rerun.txt file with the feature uh, not feature with the scenarios name which will of course contain contains the feature file name as well okay so i'm just going to quickly run this and i'm going to use the um, headless mode so that it will execute a bit faster okay so here uh, headless true that means of course we cannot see the browser now so i'm going to run the same test with parallel of two of course like uh, there will be one failure okay let's see so here in the left hand side you can see like already we got a file called uh, rerun.txt file if i open this as of now it's open but i mean it's empty but after the execution you can you can see there like the failure feature file and the scenario name so we got the uh, result so here you can select like we have 28 steps and uh, four scenarios so one failed three passed right so 
now I want to execute only the failed test scenario. So if I go to my rerun.txt file, you can see like we got the features like login.feature and the 7. So what is the 7 in the sense like if you go to your um, feature file, which is this one login.feature and 7 is this particular so this particular scenario okay this is the one scenario that is getting failed so we are going to rerun only this but there is a problem not problem so we have to do some configuration let me show you the problem first okay so i'm going to modify my package.json and here i'm going to say like um test colon failed and then followed by the value okay so here i have to say like cucumber js and then followed by i have to say say like um at the rate rerun dot txt okay that means um i have to focus on this particular txt file which has this particular scenario and that will get executed but here the problem is if i go and execute this now so i have to say like npm then followed by run test colon failed okay so if i execute this now you can see like it will execute other feature files as well okay so for example if i go to my login.feature here i have two scenarios since this is the only one failed it should be execute this and this should be skip that will work but what will happen if you go to this add to cart feature there also we have like two scenarios that will also get executed which is not required right so why this is happening in the sense like uh if you go to your cucumber.json file here we have path and within the path we have like src test features so that means when i try to run this cucumber dash js and then followed by the rerun.txt file basically it will take this particular default configuration and within the default configuration we have this path that means this features folder where we have this add to cart feature or other feature file that will also execute that is the problem so here you can see like we got now 22 steps and uh one failed two passed okay previously you can see like we have different things so that means the rerun is working fine but the problem is other feature files are also running so for example if i have to make you more clear i will just go and delete this path for now okay now if i go to my rerun dot text of course the feature file the scenario is again failed because of course it is expected to fail so if i run this now you can see like even though that particular feature file which is login dot feature have two scenarios it will focus only on the failed scenario okay So here you can select is running only uh, six steps which is that particular scenario and that means only one scenario is executing and which is our rerun.txt file okay so i hope you are able to understand the problem scenario now how to solve it is very simple okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to undo first and i'm going to have this feature so this is my default configuration when i want to execute all my test i will of course use this but what i will do i will just have another uh Of course i will have like another um configuration here like this yeah and here i will say like this is going to be my rerun okay so what is this concept this concept is known as um, profile in cucumber okay so this is my default profile and this is my rerun profile within the rerun profile i'm just going to remove this path okay that means i don't want to execute all my features and the scenarios i want to execute only the fail and how i'll know fail of course with the help of this particular file okay now how i will use this rerun is very simple just go to your package.json file and here what we have to say like dash p that means profile and then followed by i'm going to use this particular profile okay now it will run only that particular feature file with the failed scenarios it will not execute all the stuff okay so let me go and run this now one more time so here i'm going to say like npm run test failed and even though within the default i have like all my feature files it will not be considered it will take the rerun profile and from the rerun profile it will take only this particular text file where i have that particular scenario so it will run only the failed one okay I hope you are able to understand that this is very simple concept actually.
but of course we have to write like two profiles similarly you can have like multiple profile as well if you wish so it's waiting for like 30 seconds um, because the default timeout of playwright of course we will change that in our upcoming videos okay so now here you can see like we got the uh, rerun okay i'm just going to fix it so here i'm going to give my correct credential now and then i'm going to run the fail test again so it will it will pass the test now okay so now we are expecting this test to be passed and of course the report won't generate for the rerun fail if you want to generate the report as well so what you can do is like here we have post test right so similarly you can add this to here that will create the report as well okay so now you can see like one test and one passed so there is no failure so if i go to my rerun.txt you can see like this is this guy is basically empty okay so what is the learning here how to run the rerun okay let me run all the tests now so i'm just going to say like npm run test that means it is going to run all my tests in parallel with two instances. if there is any failure that will be here within my rerun.txt file and i can run that file so it will execute only the failure scenarios okay so that's it very simple thing so we learned how to do the parallel execution also how to do the uh, rerun similarly we have also another configuration called retry retry in the sense like if a scenario git fails it will just run again okay so that's very simple actually you can just go to your json file and you can say like um, colon i mean within quotes you can say like retry and then followed by uh, number of retry want to do okay and also we have something like a retry tag probably i'll cover that later this is not a great feature for now for us so we'll skip that okay so that's it very simple thing just remember you have to do like two configuration one is the default and another one is the rerun of course it can be any name whatever the name you are going to give here that should be exactly matching here as well okay okay now we are going to do something so some more learning okay so for example i'm going to delete this test result folder and if i go and run this now of course we know that it's going to end up with an exception because we have to create the folder or else the cucumber does not know that there is a folder and it will get failure so here you can see like uh, no such file of course it won't work okay so that we understand but of course it is my local machine i can create the folder but if i'm going to run the same configuration in my pipeline in the azure uh, aws or maybe like uh, uh, circle ci then of course it's a problem so we have to create the folder programmatically how to do that is very simple um, i'm going to use the library called fs extra of course node has node has also inbuilt library called fs but this one is really good like the syntax are really easy so i'm going to use this one okay so go to your terminal and do the installation npm i then followed by fs dash extra dash d okay so this will um, add the fs file system extra library okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to navigate to my src folder and within the helper i'm going to create a file called init.ts that init is nothing like init is basically my initialization file okay so here first of all of course i have to say like const fs equal to require and then followed by fs dash extra okay so that's it now here i'm going to use my try catch block and if it, there is any error i just wanted to log it so folder not it then followed by the error message okay so that's it now here what we are going to we are going to use the function called um, ensure directory okay so that means if if the folder is not there it will just create in the runtime okay so i'm going to say like fs dot ensure directory and of course we know the directory name is going to be like test dash results okay and uh, it will check for the first time if there is no directory it will create but if there is already directory it will use the same directory so we also wanted to do the empty um, for example like 
if there is already files we don't want to use the same files rather i want to create my files always unique so i will just use the function called test directory and i mean empty directory and here i will pass my folder name okay so that's a very simple thing okay now how can i use this particular file in my test so i'm going to make it very simple instead of like calling in the hooks or somewhere you can do it in the package.json so here i'm going to say like before my test that is pre test i want to execute that particular file so i'll just right click copy relative path and here i will say like npx ts dash node and then followed by the file path and then of course i can change this that's it okay now i'm going to delete my um, okay already it's deleted i'm going to delete my index.html as well um, this rerun file as well oh, sorry not that one yeah this one and asset and feature which is also like generated in the runtime so we don't want to. okay and make sure you have a good git ignore so within this i have like already um um ignored the asset folder the feature folder and similarly i don't want on to this rerun as well so i'm just going to make it like re run.txt file as well and also i don't want my report to be there so i will just ignore all the files okay now let's go to my terminal and i'm going to say like npm then followed by test let's see so i don't have the uh, test result folder but it will create in the runtime so you can see like here we got the pre-test where it executed this particular file and we got the folder as well okay and now our test is going to execute it will give us the result we can just open it up okay so that's it that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply in the upcoming videos we are going to learn more in detail like how to run in multiple environment and also like uh, we are going to do some changes in the hooks file so if you go and see the hooks it's basically clumsy actually so we are doing a lot of things here i'm going to reorganize this a little bit and that will be really helpful okay so of course uh, we got the reports which is correct okay and do check out the code in the github i will leave the link in the description because these configurations are really good and you will i i believe you are seeing this all this for the first time if you buy a course in udemy you might not get these things as well okay so yeah, I'm just saying. Ta-da, bye-bye. Take care.